So my first question relates to uh, Mark Andreessen, who, as most of you know, was he brought us the Netscape browser many years ago. Today he runs a, a venture firm in Silicon Valley and has been instrumental in starting a, a bit of a meme about software eating the world. And um, his venture partner, Ben Horowitz, uh, recently said, software is not only eating the tech industry, but every industry systematically, from education to agriculture to finance, with expanding capabilities for technology and the infl infiltration of the internet into industries that traditionally functioned offline, the possibilities are endless. So my first question is to Matt, what do you think? Is, is that actually happening? Well, I mean, if you guys are thinking of starting a company, it's, it's pretty much a very magical time to be living. Um, I mean, every industry in the world is waking up somewhat disruptively to discover that they're being dominated all of a sudden by a software business, right? If you look around, the biggest direct marketing company in the world is a software company, it's Google. The biggest bookseller in the world, the biggest shoe seller in the world, that seem to be the biggest retail in the world is a software company, it's Amazon. The fastest growing telecoms company in the world is a software company, it's Skype. You know, we used to hang out with friends in person, now we hang out on Facebook with a software company, right? We used to take photos of the camera, and now we do it with a Instagram, it's a software company, right? You know, we used to listen to music with you know, CDs and tapes, now it's Spotify, it's a software company, and it goes on and on and on. Actually, I give a talk called Welcome to the Future, and I actually you know, start this talk off, and by the end it's just like software, 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 software. You know? So, I mean, like every industry is waking up. I mean, and you're seeing the disruption you know, in the media industry, and in the music industry, and in the, you know, the stockbroking industry, and it, you know, last year the, you know, the, the book industry got disrupted with, you know, with you know, the iPad and the Kindle and, and all the things that are happening there. And, and the really good thing about this and the really amazing thing about this is that um, if you want to start a software company, most of the things you need to start a software company are free, right? So operating systems are free like Linux, thanks to open source. Um, you know, web servers are free. Um, da you know, databases are free. Graphic design software, email is free. Voice over IP is free. Um, it just goes on and on and on and on, right? And what's not free is cheap, right? So your internet connection, domain names are $10 a year. Uh, PayPal's cheap if you want to take payments. You know, buying ads to promote your business is, is cheap. And so the really, really amazing thing about this is that, and even if you don't understand this, the gratuitous blog about freelancer, you can hire freelancers to do it for you cheaply, right? Uh, but I mean, the great thing about this is venture capitalists are not funding companies now $5 million in a Series A financing for a software business. They're, they're funding 20 grand, right? Um, and the reason why they're funding 20 grand in places like Y Combinator, which Nikki went through, and Techstars, and, in Australia, we've got Startmate and um, you know, Push Start and, and, and so on. Is because twenty twenty thousand dollars, you put four people in a room, feed them noodles for four months, and at the end of six months, pop up with a maybe a mobile app or a website. And if you've got some affinity with the marketplace now, there are two billion people on the internet, right? So you know, nineteen ninety seven, there was only fifty million people on the internet. Today, there's two billion. That's two billion customers, and that's why companies that are that are starting today are growing revenue at an absolutely phenomenal rate, right? So if you look at Groupon and Zynga, there have been massive problems with these businesses, right? But they, they, they got to a billion dollars worth, worth of revenue in two and a half years, right? Apple took like eight years, Google took six years. These new companies are doing it in, in literally two and a half years. And soon they'll do it in, in one year, a billion dollars of revenue, right? So they can grow really fast, they can scale really fast with the internet, and the costs have dropped to basically nothing. And that's why a program like this, which is funding a company five grand, you might look at that and go, this is ridiculous, it's five grand, you can't start a company on five grand. Well, I, I actually, I, you know, the contrary is actually, is actually very true. My partner in Freelancer, um, a guy called Simon Claus, and he started a company called PC Tools, and this is you know, about six, seven, eight years ago. But this was a free antivirus software company, right, called Spyware Doctor, right, the, the software. And basically, the business model behind this was it's free antivirus. You could download it, you install it on your computer, you run it, it says, you know, we've got viruses, do you want me to remove the viruses for you? You go, yes. Um, and it says, put your credit card in and pay $49.95 per year. He started this business with $1,000. That was his total investment, right? He outsourced it to some freelancers. He got the thing built, and the was plug. And then um, basically bootstrapped the 40 million US in revenue. No financing from any external investors. Took some money and got to 100 million in revenue. He sold it for 300 million. He's retired, lives in Geneva. He's 34, right? But I mean, the, the, you know, dig.com started with you know, $30, uh, $60 in a weekend. Um, Retail me not, an online coupon site, $30, right? And so on. So five grand can actually go a, a fair way. So um, you know, basically, it's a long-winded way of saying that it's, it's a pretty amazing time to be starting a company. Never been cheaper, never been easier. All right, great. Thanks, Matt.